What's up guys, it's uh, Steve O'Way and in this achievement guide I'm going to show you how to get the achievement Ectoplasmic Residue and when the achie and when the revolution comes. So first thing you're going to do is, you are, well, I get quick revive just to be on the safe side and I put the chalk on the wall just for that extra 1000 points because it actually really does help. So. After that, the next thing we're going to do is release the big guy, because he's a key, he's a key thing in this achievement. So once you've done that, I'm just doing it now. Get the booze, get him to knock down the uh, barricade. Now the next thing we're going to do is you want to get the booze from the saloon. Unless it's already spawned in the so then you can just easily get it again but the way I'm gonna do it um, I'm gonna do it the cheap way so instead of spending 1250 points on the main door to the saloon if you go around the back and use the little passageway in the barn you can actually open it for 750 so basically saving 500 points so yeah that's pretty good At this point, I'm just killing the zombies. I uh, meant to edit it out, but I kind of forgot. Alright, here we go. I'm going to show you the route to the uh, the cheaper way. I'm going to show you the route to it. So you go into this barn stable thing, and you go through this little tunnel on the right, and then you just follow it. Kill some zombies on the way if you can, if you want to. And you're going to come across this little gap, which you're going to have to jump after I kill the zombie. So the gap's right there, and then you jump. So just watch out for that. And then voila, you're in the saloon. So and the that couch that's in the way only costs 750, which is better than 1,250. So pick up the booze and just jump out the window. Not window, jump off the balcony. And then what you're gonna want to do is you want to use the big guy to clear that path right there, so you can get onto the other side of the map. Cause that's where the mansion is. And that's where all shit happens. So now you've unlocked this part of the map, and you can see the mansion over there. Just uh, kill that zombie. Boom. Right. Next thing you want to do is these zombies stop hitting me. Um, you want to go into the candy store and you want to turn on the power. I don't think that you have to turn on the power but it's always good to just to be sure. You need the power for most things. Here I just opened the saloon door, I don't know why I did that. I would advise not doing it so you can save your points and you can do the achievement quicker. Oh yeah, um, I'm, I was looking, you need the booze for this part now. And I couldn't be asked going around the long way so I just opened it and then just to be a bitch it didn't spawn there. It spawned in the big guy cell back at the jailhouse. So just need to run all the way over there and get the booze. I 
So once you've got the booze, you want to go all the way back to the other side of the map, where the mansion is. And you're going to want to get the big guy to clear the path to the mansion. Just knife him so he runs faster. I don't think it really matters what round you do it on, but if you want to do it on quite a low round, just so it's easier, you can do. But you're still going to need those points. You can use your bank. The ba use, using the bank won't stop the achievement. But if in case you don't have any money in the bank, I'm going to show you. I'm just showing you how to do it from start to end. So now the ma uh, the path to the mansion is clear. That door, the door to open the mansion is 1,250, and I'll open that in a minute. But when we're, what you're going to want to do again is get another booze. At this point, I was killing, and I actually remembered to cut cut out the killing. So then you're going to want to leave one zombie undamaged, and you want to take Leroy to the fountain in front of the mansion. And it's kind of like right in the middle of the man, uh, the court, the chapel, sorry, the mansion, the courtroom, and the uh, candy shop. And you're gonna use the booze and you're gonna break the fountain. And you know it's broken because it'll start squirting out water just like that. Right, once you've done that, you're ready to go through the mansion. So open the mansion door. And just go through all the mansion and kill all the ghosts that are going to be in the mansion. They do come quite fast at you, but when they get close to you, they slow down. So that'll give you just enough time to shoot them in the face. So once you've gone through there, you'll come to a little greenhouse type of thing with a tree in it. And they'll just keep dropping down there. And you just want to kill them to the. You want to make sure you kill them all as well. Kill the last one, get your free perk, and you'll get the achievement Exoplasmic Residue. And that's the first achievement done for this guide. And now we're going to move on to the when the revolution comes. And um, because of everything we've just done, we're already part way there. So now you'll see this fountain, which you'll see that is the same as the one that was in front of the mansion. And what we're going to do is going to use four grenades to destroy it. Obviously, not uh, not like two at a time or four at a time or whatever, like I did. Otherwise, it just, there's just one explosion. And you're going to need four explosions. So since there's only three explosions, it didn't explode because the first two exploded. The first grenade exploded, and it must have destroyed the second. So it didn't work. So there's only been three explosions. And it needs four, so they put the fourth in. I put two in just to make sure, and kind of just hurt myself, and then zombie popped out of nowhere. But you can see the fountain's actually fully gone, unlike the one in front of it. It's actually fully gone, and now there's a hole in the floor. And now you can see there's a little whirlpool in it. And you jump in, and you'll get the achievement. And it actually teleports you to where you first start off on the map. But instead of being on the platform on top, you're actually below. It is possible to get back up there. You just need to use the paralyzer or the petrifier and just fly back up there. Just fly up and over the railing and you'll be sorted. But yeah, there's not really much you can do up here except jump back down the hole. I guess it's an easier way to get from, get from the maze instead of having to go through the mansion again and kill off the zombies, I mean the ghosts so they can only get in through two ways which is two windows but the windows can't actually be boarded up which is a bit of a shame and you might, it looks like you might be able to get crawl under here but you actually can't there's an invisible barrier and yeah you can see the little light for the box and this is what it looks like so yeah, jump back down the hole through this way, and you're right back to the start, and that's how you do it. 
So this has been Old Steve-O. I hope you I hope this guy uh, I hope this guy helps you. <laughs>